everybody in the room and the other room wants to see Jake Paul get knocked out. Yeah. So you're you're hoping, you know, you, you got the reason why you hope Tyson would pull this off. Or Did you help set that up? Because no. I know you're close with Tyson. God, no. When this fight happens, Tyson will be 58 years. I'm worried about him. <laughs> On no, <laughs> under any circumstances, almost 60-year-old man shouldn't be fighting a 27-year-old fuck guy yeah. under any circumstances, even yeah. if it's Mike Tyson. What sparked Dana White's explosive reaction to the newly announced Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight date? Why is the UFC president so vocal about this highly anticipated showdown? Dive into the drama and discover the intense reasons behind White's fiery comments on this unprecedented boxing event. The UFC president, Dana White, has never been one to shy away from expressing his opinions, especially when it comes to controversial boxing matches. The announcement of a new fight date for the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson bout has ignited an explosive reaction from White. Known for his candid and often blunt commentary, White's response has added a layer of intrigue and excitement to an already highly anticipated event. His fiery comments highlight the deep-seated tensions and competitive dynamics between the worlds of boxing and mixed martial arts, making this showdown even more thrilling for fans and spectators. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul's fight is being ridiculous, says UFC chief Dana White, with postponed clash in Texas set to be given a new date. The upcoming bout, which was postponed after the 57-year-old suffered a medical emergency on a cross-country flight, was scheduled to take place in Texas next month. The UFC boss laughed off any notion that he was involved in organizing the hotly anticipated match during an appearance on the flagrant podcast, which dropped Wednesday. God, no, White said, when asked if he had anything to do with it. When this fight happens, Tyson will be 58 years old almost 60-year-old man shouldn't be fighting a 27-year-old guy. Under any circumstances, even if it's Mike Tyson, it's just ridiculous, he continued. The controversial CEO went on to reference Paul's fight against Love Island alum Tommy Fury that he lost in a split decision last February. My biggest problem with the Jake Paul thing and how this plays out is when he actually fought somebody who was a boxer, who had the same type of record he has, who was his age, who is his size, he lost. So they're never gonna go that route again, right? He said. The biggest problem with the Jake Paul thing is and how this plays out is when he actually fought somebody who was a boxer, who had the same type of record he has, who is his age. Tommy. And who is his size, he lost. Yeah. So they're never gonna go that far out again, right? Close fight. And, and, and yeah, they're trying yeah. to pull this whole narrative like when people, I saw some guy the other day say, when are you gonna stop fighting gimmick fights? Are you gonna call Mike Tyson a gimmick? Well, yeah, if you got people that, that are fucking dumb enough to pay for that. Shit, <laughs> you know, well, it's, it's on Netflix. Good you don't even you. have to pay now, huh? It's on Netflix. You don't even have to pay. So yeah. why are you so against the fight? Is it really just because of Mike? I'm not age? against it. Oh, I, I love Mike Tyson. Okay, he's fucking almost sixty years old. So you just worry for you know his what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But even though you see the way he's training and the way he looks, my like, he still looks... back is killing me today. Killing me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have no idea why. Yeah. I guess it's because I'm 50 fucking four. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. I'm 54, yeah. so I guess that's why my back is fucking killing me today. Yeah. So Mike is this guy's 27. He's in his fucking prime. Yeah. As a human. Yeah. And I'm just fucking. Just but the internet explodes. and I love Mike, and nobody yeah. wants to see Mike get beat by this fucking jerk off. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Why that, that's think, the thing. Why I think no think... one wants to see Mike lose. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, I think. But also, you and Mike are close, right? You. Yeah, I fucking love Mike Tyson. Yeah. Mike Tyson was one of the guys that I fucking idolized growing up, and mm. and one of the guys that made me love boxing Did as it? much as I do. Tyson was forced to apologize to fans last week after he suffered an ulcer flare-up, leading doctors to advise he postpone the bout until the fall. I want to thank my fans around the world for their support and understanding during this time," he said in a statement. My body is in better overall shape than it has been since the 1990s, and I will be back to my full training schedule soon. Jake Paul, this may have bought you some time, but in the end, you will still be knocked out and out of boxing for good. Although organizers were reportedly exploring two possible new dates in mid-October and mid-November, Sports Illustrated reporter Chris Mannix claimed there was genuine concern about whether Tyson will ever be able to fight Paul. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. He's almost 58 years old. They're saying it's a minor ulcer issue, but I don't think anything's minor at that stage of your life, especially when it comes to putting yourself in the proper shape to fight a professional boxing match, Mannix said during an appearance on The Rich Eisen Show Monday. He went on, 
there is genuine concern from people that are also on the card. I mean, there are another number of fights that are also on the card about this specific card moving forward. It's certainly not out of the question, but again, there are people involved who are expressing skepticism that this specific fight is going to move forward. Dana White was asked about his opinion of the postponement, and for the first time ever, he admitted he was speechless. Dana was unable to answer the question without stuttering, and seemed like he was genuinely upset for Mike. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul is delayed. Um, I, I know you're close with Mike. I guess, are, are you happy that they're looking out for his health in that instance? And do you even think it should be rescheduled, period, given this ulcer flare-up? 100%. Um, yeah, obviously I know a lot about it, but I'm not going to talk about it publicly. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah. I... I for the first time probably ever in my life, I have no comment on something. I, it's, that's, that's Mike's world, and, you know, he gets to me every time I talk about that stuff. Good for him, and he'll figure it out. Although the fight had been postponed, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul is still set to premiere on Netflix with the new date being Friday, November 15th. Ariel Hiwani tweeted announcing the fight was back on. The Jake Paul x Mike Tyson boxing match has been rescheduled for Friday, November 15th. Per most valuable promotions, Katie Taylor x Amanda Serrano 2 will once again serve as the co-main. Netflix, AT&T Stadium. Back on many have shared their thoughts about the upcoming fight, and the UFC's very own Dana White has chimed in during a visit to Andrew Schultz's flagrant podcast. During the episode, Schultz asked Dana his thoughts about the bout, and the UFC president was quick to call it ridiculous. White went on to explain that he's against the fight, because he's worried about Tyson's health at nearly 60 years old. Jake Paul's 27, he's in his prime, and I love Mike. No one wants to see Mike get beat by this, Dana said. You got people that, that are fucking dumb enough to pay for that <laughs> shit. You know, well, it's, it's on Netflix, you don't even you. have to pay now. This is not first time that Dana White has chimed in on the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight either. Back in March, White explained that the fight wasn't serious due to the age gap. However, fighting someone as legendary as Mike Tyson has its obvious perks. He said, He doesn't want to be taken seriously. What Jake wants is Jake wants to make money. The people that follow Jake Paul don't buy Jake Paul's fights, so Jake Paul has to fight people who can actually sell pay-per-views. After the Paul vs. Tyson fight was postponed, due to the legendary boxer's health issues, more than a handful of others reached out attempting to take Tyson's spot. This includes former Tyson opponent Roy Jones Jr., who said he will make sure to be in shape for a fight should the opportunity arise. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul have both had their say after it was announced that their postponed fight will now take place on November 15th at the AT&T Stadium. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson have both vowed to knock the other out after their fight was rescheduled for November 15th. Tyson, a former heavyweight champion and legend of the sport, was scheduled to clash with the YouTuber turned boxer on July 20th at the AT&T Stadium in Texas, only for the controversial fight to be postponed after the 57-year-old suffered a health scare. Despite an ulcer flare-up, Tyson insisted that he was in good health amid external concerns and called for the fight to be rescheduled. While there were some who believed the fight should never have been signed off in the first place, it was confirmed on Friday that the event will still be going ahead, albeit at a later date. Nakisa Bedarian, co-founder of Most Valuable Promotions, said, Our team has worked diligently with all parties involved to reschedule this monumental fight to a date that ensures both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are fully prepared, with equal training time, as well as allowing us to keep the event at AT&T Stadium in the midst of the Cowboys season. Tyson then outlined that he will resume his training regime shortly before declaring that Paul, 27, would be knocked out on their rescheduled date in Texas. He added, Although we had to postpone the fight, I will resume training shortly. I am thankful to the medical staff that treated me and to MVP, Netflix, and AT&T Stadium for working diligently to find the best rescheduled date for all parties. While we have a new date, the result will be the same no matter when we fight. Jake Paul is getting knocked out. On Friday, November 15th, watch this in person at AT&T Stadium or live on Netflix. 
Paul, who previously vowed to KO Tyson when they met, echoed similar sentiments to the boxing legend with a social media post plugging the new fight date. Alongside a poster featuring himself and Tyson on the X platform, Paul wrote, New date, same place, same fate. Tyson has not fought professionally in 19 years and will be 58 when he takes to the ring to face Paul. The latter has been inactive since beating Ryan Borland via first round stoppage in March. Despite the controversy surrounding the fight and some brash claims in the build-up to the original date, Paul wished Tyson well following his recent health scare and insisted he wanted to face the legend at his best. He said, Love that guy. So much respect for him. And I want Mike to be healthy. He still says he's going to knock me out and I bought myself some time so Mike is still talking over there. He says he still is going to knock me out and I bought myself some time so Mike is still talking over there. Uh, but Mike, if you want to do this, like you said, behind closed doors, behind the scenes, you've said you want to do this in Q4. You just need a little bit of time. So I'm ready whenever you are. This is too big of an opportunity. This fight has garnered significant attention due to the contrasting backgrounds and ages of the fighters. Mike Tyson, a legendary figure in boxing, has not competed professionally in nearly two decades. His return to the ring at the age of 58 is seen by many as a testament to his enduring legacy and competitive spirit. On the other hand, Jake Paul, who initially gained fame as a YouTuber, has transitioned into boxing and has managed to secure victories, albeit against less experienced fighters. This matchup, therefore, represents a clash between a seasoned veteran and a newcomer who is eager to prove himself. The decision to reschedule the fight was influenced by several factors. Tyson's health scare was a significant concern, and there was a need to ensure that he was fit enough to compete. Moreover, the organizers wanted to make sure that both fighters had adequate time to prepare, thus ensuring a fair contest. The rescheduling also allowed the event to remain at the AT&T Stadium, which was an important consideration given the logistics and planning that had already gone into the original date. In terms of promotion, both fighters have been actively engaging with their fan bases. Tyson's declaration that he would knock out Paul has added a layer of intensity to the build-up, while Paul's response has been equally provocative. This back-and-forth banter is a common tactic in boxing promotion, aimed at building hype and attracting viewers. The use of social media platforms like X, formerly Twitter, has further amplified this promotional strategy, reaching a wide audience and generating significant buzz. The involvement of most valuable promotions and their collaboration with Netflix and AT&T Stadium indicates the scale of the event. This is not just a boxing match, but a major entertainment spectacle. The choice of November 15th as the new date also aligns with the NFL season, potentially drawing in a larger crowd who may be in town for football games. This strategic planning highlights the commercial aspects of modern boxing, where the sport intersects with broader entertainment and media interests. Despite the controversy and skepticism from some quarters, the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is set to be a significant event. For Tyson, it is an opportunity to showcase his enduring prowess and competitive nature, while for Paul, it represents a chance to validate his boxing career against a legendary opponent. The rescheduling has allowed for a more balanced preparation period, addressing health concerns and logistical challenges. As the new date approaches, the anticipation and excitement are likely to build, culminating in a highly anticipated showdown at the AT&T Stadium on November 15th. Dana White's explosive reaction to the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight date has certainly added fuel to the fire. With tensions running high and excitement building, this showdown is set to be unforgettable. Don't miss out on any updates or behind-the-scenes action. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Stay tuned.